Happy Friday, my friends. On this Black Friday, we're starting off with mostly dry conditions. I'm ABC 13 meteorologist Alita Loresco with a look at your one minute weather, but we still have a weather alert day that's going to extend through noontime on Saturday. Along with that alert day, we also have a flood watch in effect for all these counties shaded in green. These are the counties that need to stay weather aware, especially for the impacts of some widespread heavy rain. Rainfall rates up to two inches per hour will be possible and even higher amounts of four inches per hour in some of these stronger and slower moving thunderstorm. The flood risk potential is higher south of I-10 as soil is still saturated from yesterday's rains. Any additional rains we see today could increase the runoff potential and you can see that we are anticipating most areas picking up between one to three inches through Saturday afternoon with most locations uh, about two inches or less west of I-45. So we'll be dealing with not just the flood potential but also a severe weather threat. Unlike yesterday, we're seeing kind of a smaller area that could see some uh, isolated severe thunderstorms and isolated tornado potentially and damaging winds up to 60 miles per hour. The increase in the storm chances will happen late this afternoon into the evening hours and will be ongoing during the overnight hours into Saturday. Future track is showing some scattered activity early part of the afternoon and then becoming widespread by six o'clock this evening. We'll see a little bit of a lull before another round of heavy rain arrives during the overnight hours and then by Saturday afternoon we should slowly start to see those showers winding down. The clouds should give way to some sunshine, especially along the coastline. Could still see some pockets of light rain north of I-10, some uh, wraparound moisture from that low Saturday evening and then all clouds clear out just in time for Sunday. Sunday we'll be waking up to temperature readings in the upper 40s to low 50s. It's going to be a chilly start to the morning but a pleasant finish to the holiday holiday weekend as temperatures warm to near 70 on Sunday. Early next week we start off dry, but then another front approaches and we'll see a 40% chance of scattered thunderstorms, strong winds on Tuesday. Wednesday morning, a threat for some showers and storms. Once the front moves through, we've got some cooler, beautiful weather for that first day of December. All right, my friends, that's a look at your forecast on this Friday. Thanks for watching.